Hello all your numbers, I'm Cal13 and welcome back to another video. Today, if you've already noticed, the, uh, I don't have a transparent background and I'm starting off with just a rock. And I've actually, this rock is like two years old. I drew it on my phone so I didn't know about transparency and all that. And I saw it the other day and I'm like, what can I do with this? I want to make a drawing with this rock because I originally was going to do a mermaid wrapped around the rock, which essentially that's what I do, only it's with Ava, which a lot of you guys seem to love Ava, and that actually makes me really happy because he's a sweetie. He's so nice. And today I have him watching the little egg, and I... I'm leaning heavily towards making the creature that's inside the egg a sea serpent because I think that'd just look super, super adorable in the long run to have just a little sea serpent as your child. <laughs> so, Ava found this rock, he made a little nest for the egg, and he's just watching it lovingly because it is getting ready to hatch fairly soon. And next week, I'm going to actually draw Ava... What I might... I'll either draw the sea serpent already hatched, or while it is in the process of hatching. I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. But it's going to be one of those two, so expect that probably in next week, Wednesday or Friday. And... I am actually planning on doing a comic strip with with making more scenes where I'm going to use the th three or four main ones that I have, which are the ones I have on YouTube, or going to be on YouTube, and then I'll be adding frames between all of those, so like how he found the egg when he got to the place, how he found the rock, or where he wanted to go. And to how he even takes care of this little creature. Because there's going to be a few bumps in the roads while that happens. Believe me. Uh, I actually was having difficulty with the hair because I didn't know how I was going to go about drawing the hair around a rock, but since it is underwater and I don't really have to go with too much physics, except for like the floaty physics, which is really nice, I kind of took that to my full advantage. Full advantage. Um, if you actually haven't seen the last video, what you're seeing off to the side repeatedly was... The drawing from the last video, I do recommend checking it out so you can understand why, understand why I keep saying he and all of that. He's a beta fish. I explain it all in the other video. I will link the video into the description in case you have not seen it. So, check it out. I, I'm slowly getting better each time I do a video for not really the drawing part because my drawings are pretty much the same style-wise. So I plan to do a few different styles, but audio-wise, I'm getting more focused, or I hope I'm getting more focused. I'm finding my rhythm, which I actually just watched a YouTube video about how social media can ruin your drawings due to the fact that it destroys your rhythm. And for me, my rhythm is about two hours. This actually only took me one hour, so that was quite nice. But in general, it takes me about two to three hours to make one piece of art. And I have to squish it down, and usually I either make the video too short or I make it too long. And yes, I'm saying a seven to eight minute video is too short in my eyes because it does not give me enough room to say what I want to say. I feel like I rush myself. And hopefully 11 minutes will be like, 
that nice ground where it's not too long. I can say what I want to say. And it's not too short. And hopefully you guys will not get bored. Please. Again, if if you don't really want to hear my voice and you just want to watch how the drawing was made, since I do start from sketch to line art to the actual coloring process, just turn turn off the audio. There, there's no warnings for this drawing today. He's, he's just watching his egg. He's watching his little baby. He's happy. That's, that, that's the main thing. And... Uh, I actually, a little spoiler for the next video, it is going to be a new character, and this character is named after my one friend, Flax, or Flaxity, and this is one old character, really, really old character, but I thought it would be fun to actually do another redraw because the original drawing is from 2014-2015. The second drawing is from 2017. And then this drawing will be 2019. So it's about a two-year gap between each drawing. And then that can also help me determine how well I've gotten with both just poses because I'm kind of keeping it around the same pose, but as well just how I'm progressing because with my Neptune children, yes, there is a clear progression between when I drew them the first time in 2017 to when I drew them recently in 2019. And, oh, and yeah, there, there's a big difference between the two drawings, but you can clearly tell it's the same characters, just improved upon. Though I know I can do even better, especially with the male character, but... Ah, oh, he was giving me so many difficulties that day. <laughs> and I just, I didn't want to start a second drawing because it was getting close to the deadline. I'm like, I want to get this video out. I'm going to do it. <laughs> And, yeah. Oh, okay. So, I do have a few different type of species, which will start to emerge, and I hope you guys don't mind that I have, like, 10 million different characters. I just, I love creating characters. I love creating stories. I am... I am, like, busting to the seams with imagination, you could say. I'm always writing, especially if I have a strong emotion, I'll be writing poetry of some sort. And maybe while I'm still writing on a story I started, and maybe one of these times I will read said story if I ever get enough of it finished and I might make a few short stories I want to get into comics I really do I just I don't know how to start I I don't know how to do paneling I don't know how to get a correct flow so that's what I want to work on is trying to find the flow for a comic for me but I can say with the comic I'll probably use one of my very first characters, whose name is Connie Cotton. And she's a cotton candy witch. And for my idea of the story, I'm planning on, like, having her run an academy for witches who can only do, like, one kind of magic, which is what she is currently under because she was cursed. So she can only um, do cotton candy magic. And so she wants to run a can me to help other people. And at least that, that's what I'm imagining. Got a few other story plots, but again, I don't know how to like start any of them. I want to create my own world where 
all of my characters, or at least a good portion of them, can live in. And just, it'll be like Earth, but different. It can be a world where I can RP in and not worry about, like, having all these other things, like worrying about events that happened in real time and all of that. So, I hope you guys like my content. I really enjoy drawing everything that I do. It fills me with a great amount of joy whenever I see at least that one view, which usually I know exactly who that one view is from. It's from Mega90. Because she has that bell. First time I've ever actually mentioned the bell. But yeah, if you like my content, subscribe, look at older videos. They're not as good when it comes to me speaking, but <laughs> I'm getting better with each video, I hope. And this is near the end. I feel like I said everything I wanted to. So with that, I wish all of you guys a wonderful day. Bye-bye.